Hello, my name is Bob Evans, and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of concrete crib lock retaining walls. A crib lock retaining wall is built using precast concrete elements. They are made into cribs or frames, 1.2 meters wide, 0 0.6, 0 0.9, and 1.2 meters deep. Each crib is approximately 200 millimeters high and filled with stone. The design principle is gravity, and the design is similar to a gabion basket retaining wall except the precast concrete elements add a little bit more mass. Concrete crib lock walls are typically built by a specialist contractor. A local contractor with some training can also construct them. Concrete crib lock retaining walls are ideal for high retaining structures over three meters high. They are used in highways, rail and housing projects. The precast elements to make the cribs are called stretchers and headers. Stretchers run the length of the wall Headers run from the front to the back of the wall. The stretchers and headers lock into each other using notches built into the headers. Stretchers are 1.2 meters long, whereas headers are 0 0.65, 0 0.95 and 1.25 meters long. The design table shows you typical sections of concrete crib lock at various wall heights. The table has been developed to calculate budgets. Do not use a table for your project. Every project is different and needs to be designed by a structural engineer. We can help you with this on request. The higher the wall, the wider the frames need to be at the bottom of the wall. Crib lock walls are typically inclined to allow gravity to reduce the wall's mass and keep the design economical. Free drainage fill is required to backfill behind the crib lock structure with a land drain at the bottom to reduce any risk from hydrostatic pressure. The question everybody wants to know is how much does a retaining wall cost? To answer this question, we have created a retaining wall design and price guide. The guide details all the retaining walls on the website, provides a design guide to allow you to cost out the wall yourself, or you can use our cost table that we have developed. You can use the table to calculate a budget for your project. You can also compare the cost of different wall types. We have a three-step process to support you with your retaining wall project. Step one, help you select the right solution for your requirements and budget. Step two, design a solution for your site and soil requirements. Step three, prepare material schedules to obtain competitive prices using our supply chain. The next step is to ask us questions and tell us about your project. We can then support you to deliver it and probably save you some money. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.